Check it out, Batman. Holy crap, holies. I slapped in. I know it's hard to see. 704. Holy jeez. I slapped in. Yep, I did. Even though it was really only 8 hours, but because I went to bed at 11. Oh, uh, we could go back to bed now, baby. Yeah, take it down. Oh, lordy. Lazy, lazy morning. Holy frig molies, man. Whoa! Yeah, well, we had a load assigned to us. Not that it was much of a load. It was only going from here to Brampton, but you know, it would have got us out of the yard. You know, ooh, itchy air. Oh, I know. So we're just doing our cafe au lait. We've uploaded all our videos. We're just doing yesterday's up. We're rendering it. So we'll try to get that up later today. Not that it matters much because you guys won't see it for a week, anyways, but I'm trying to stay on top of everything here. Yeah, I made a cabacle of the freaking contest, didn't I? I totally forgot the Australian guys. Anyways, there's a cheat that went up. Hopefully you guys saw it. Um, I'll probably put another cheat at the end there. But also, guys, go to the website. I posted, although you've already seen it probably by now. Uh, there's going to be two different maps up there. The one that's currently up there, well, it's actually going to stop. One's going to stay there for a while until the videos get caught up with it. I just want to get it started so that I can stay on top of it. Uh, so that it coincides with the vlogs that are currently playing. So you guys will actually, once that's up and running, those vlogs go through. Then it'll start for the next trip, trip four. So they started on trip three. And then I'll redo each button. I'll put a button at the bottom for older ones, maybe. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. We're sitting here in Kitchener. We're enjoying our Cafe au lait. And it's snowing out. <laughs> they just came again and washed the truck while I was sitting here. So that's awesome. I got a clean truck because it was really freaking dirty, let me tell you. So, so and they, they took that load off of me. So I don't know what they're doing now. So we're going to sit and wait. We'll find out. We'll check back with you in a little bit. Alright, well we're sitting here. I figured, well, what the hell, we may as well head over to the shop. Since we're in the yard here. And go get us top off on some washer fluid. Oops, dropping crap. Top up, uh, what did I say, on some washer fluid. Get our oil, one oil jug topped off that I had to use the other day. Looking at my little car over there. Holy frick, it's getting buried by snow. Oh well. I know you can't see it in trailers in front of it here right now, but holy oh, friggly is she rough though. Damn. Now they're starting to park trailers back in the back row here again. Uh, they've given out most of the new trucks. There's only a few left. Uh, I'll be getting probably in the next series of new trucks that comes in is probably when I'll get one. Drop more stuff here. What the heck? No, that one there is not a new one. It's been a, well, it's a 2012, so I think. I don't have the little window on top, but they start right here, I think. Yeah. So there's probably a dozen and a half, almost two dozen trucks left, and that's it. A lot of these are going to go to new drivers that are coming on with the company. And this is almost still go to drivers that are uh, due for changes. I'm not one of those drivers yet. That's okay. We'll survive. Ah, time to go get our oil. All right, we got our oil and our washer fluid. Now we're taking a little drive back to my parking spot. Probably taken up by now, but then again, you never know. I don't like going too fast in here just because it's a rough ass yard and everything just gets tossed inside the truck if you do. I watch some guys go through here to freaking like a bat out of hell. It's like, holy crap, man. Oh, jeez, big bump. No, it's actually a gorgeous day out. Like, I know it's overcast and it's flurries here right now, but frick, it's only minus five Celsius. Okay, so I know some of you guys are saying, hey, can you uh, say it in Fahrenheit also? Because you guys don't understand uh, Celsius Fahrenheit conversion, which you can do on Google, by the way. However, the Fahrenheit of that is uh, ma is 19 Fahrenheit, and it feels like 22 Fahrenheit. 
something like that. I don't know how that makes sense, but at any rate, yeah, so it's probably about 22. It's only minus 5 Celsius. It's really nice out. Nice and mild, gorgeous day as far as temperature goes because you can work out in it. That's the best part. So we'll get parked in our spot here again. Oh, Lordy. Alright, boys and girls, we're at the little Zares here in Kitchener. This is a great little place to go when you running bobtail like we are right now. Heading to London. Yep, we're heading to London to pick up a load. We're going to Alabama. So, alrighty, so we got to get to London. Talk to you in a minute. Now we got something going on up here. It's coming almost to a stop. So two cop cars go the other way. Oh, looks like a car went into the wall up here. Not sure exactly. We've got an ambulance there. Not a good way to start off somebody's long weekend. On a Saturday. I don't even know what the hell they did. They lost control. You can see the skid marks going from the middle lane here. They slid and slammed into the wall hard, too. Looks good. Right. I'm thinking somebody cut them off. One of these cars here that stopped. Uh, oh, that car there had some marks on it. Oh, I'm thinking that car had something to do with it. is coming into our drop yard here in London, shared with many. Not sure what he's doing here. I don't trust him. You never know they're going to pull a U-turn or something. End up turning right in front of me. Too far forward to be pulling a U-turn there now. So. Alrighty, we've got to go find our trailer. Shouldn't be too hard. We don't have that many here. 882-251-882. Oh, it looks like a few trailers here anyways. Ooh, big bump. Big bump. Big bump. Holy crap. This is worse than our yard in Kitchener. It's not the first trailer. It's not the second trailer. 251882. It's the third trailer. Alrighty. There we go. Found our trailer. Okay. I just had the truck washed too, driving in here in the muddy yard. Damn! Although uh, bobtailing here got it dirty anyway. Feel that heavy? That's good. Maybe. All right, we went clunk. That's what counts. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, we are just finishing up here at the J. Now, what you're asking, what did we do? Well, we went and scaled. Then we went in and faxed off our stuff to the border. And then we reweighed, which I will show you in a little bit. Once we get up to, uh, I had to show you before I left there, but I'll show you. Uh, we got to stop just before the border, anyways, to pick up our ace. So uh, that's where I'll show you the scale ticket and why the reway. And so now we're just uh, motoring along here, freaking wasting enough time. It's 2 30 already in the afternoon. Get going, get towards the border. Ready, we've arrived at the Sarnia Service Center, and this is where we're gonna try to get our ace box to us. Ah, there's a nice size sleeper for you. Mega sleeper. Yes, sir. Alright. Well, we'll park over here. Hmm, gonna be a big bump. Gonna be a bump. Oh, freaking Lake Michigan. Holy jumping Jehoshaphaters. Jesus 
great. You can lose a truck in that one. Yeah, he's crooked. I'm crooked. Who cares? No big deal. There we go. Alrighty, so let's just send off a message here to see about our ace. See if it's ready yet. Is, we'll put it as simple as possible, ace ready. Can't get any simpler than that, right? Right, okay, so I was going to show you guys. Okay, so oh, 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 I went and got, I went and scaled. Okay, let's see which one's the first one. Num, 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 num. Okay, so this is the first one. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. So I was 11,440 on the steers, 34,040 pounds on the drives, and 31,840 on the trailer. Now, I know you guys, and we're only 77,300 pounds gross, right? So you guys are thinking, okay, squirrel, let's see what we got here first. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not a bad one. I think we got that one already, don't we? I don't know. Okay. So, um... But the problem is I haven't fueled, right? I got like, uh, what, three-eighths of a tank of fuel here. So I'm going to need fuel. So if I fuel up, it's going to put me over. So I had to slide it. So I was figuring I'll just try to almost maximize my weight on the back. Get as close to the 34,000 pounds as I could. So I guess six holes, right? Just took a guess. Let's see what this one is. Probably the same thing because it was just a reway ticket. It is. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a future duplicate. Okay, so what we ended up with, now get this, okay, if you look at the gross difference, I somehow gained 80 pounds walking between the truck and the truck stop to get my scale ticket. I don't know what the frick happened there. So our gross is 77,400 on the reway, but we were 77,320 here. Somehow we gained 80 pounds, but whatever the case is. So we're 11,420 on the steers. 31,600, or is that six or nine? 900 on the drives and 34,080 pounds on the trailer now. So I ended up putting her back one hole. Uh, so, and I didn't have to reweigh that because that's about what, 250 pounds roughly or so. Uh, yeah, so. So now we're good and I know I can fuel up all the way and not worry about it. Uh, no headaches there. So we got that. Down there. There you go. Yes, sir. Bob. So now we sit here and wait. The excitement. I know. You guys are thrilled. So let's see. How far do we got to go to go to Alabama? Here, let's take you off of here and I'll show you. Oh, the truck just stopped. It's actually nice out today. Let's see what she is here. Hold on. I wish you would stop freaking ringing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, 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 Okay, so the weather network says it is minus four. That's not bad. Okay, I know some of you guys are going to say, what the hell is minus four? Because you guys are in, like, uh, Fahrenheit. So I've got my other thing here set on Fahrenheit. And it says we are 25. No, that's not right. That's impossible. No, I guess that's probably right. 27, 25, real field. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, never mind. I'll be all right. So, that's what she is. I know some of you are saying that's probably too cold for you, but I mean, it's not that bad, actually. Oh, you get some hair here. Oh, you can't see that. Okay. Alrighty, so we're here at the Wyoming truck stop, uh, the SO. There's not many people here. It's the weekend, so she's always dead. And you always get one Yahoo that's got to park right up against the building there. But anyway, whatever. Okay. So we're going to go on the back and we're going to play on the computer a bit because we've still got one more upload to go. Yeah, we do. So that's what we're going to go do, get that done. Uh, so uh, the video should be all up to date and we're good to go, blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to wait to hear what we hear. That's all. It uh, looks like we got us a little bit of a snow squall going on here. Very poor visibility. Actually, the camera cuts through it better than what I can actually see. You still get people that are going too fast for it because visibility is really, really bad. I mean, yeah, I can see directly in front of the truck, but you can't really see that much further ahead. And then, of course, you get the odd idiot that, you know, doesn't put his headlights on. 
So this is where you get these big 40 and 50 car pileups because people end up going too fast. And then the ones like the one in front of me and myself who are actually slowed down end up getting rear-ended by the people that are going too fast. So you get into these little squalls, you gotta slow down. Visibility is crap. You never know what the person in front of you is gonna do. Leave yourself some space, give yourself lots of time to get stopped or you know, give yourself an out. see the roads have gotten shitty. I turned around earlier but I was concentrating on driving uh, you know, a bunch of cars in the ditch. I'm not sure what's going on here. Probably somebody spun out and hit the wall or something. Who knows. Can't see him pulling somebody over for speeding. That's for damn sure. Although there are some of them here that are freaking driving like absolute idiots. Maybe he just broke down there. I don't, know. I don't even see anybody around. Alrighty, boys and girls, we're just parking it for the night. We've made it to Monroe, Michigan. And we've gotten our fuel. Wow, uh, there's one guy that pulled into a spot. Man, did he pull in crooked. Right beside me here. It's throwing me off because he's freaking crooked, but oh well. I'm fairly straight. I can see the line on the ground. See, you can see where we are. Actually, I don't know why it says French Town Township. It's Monroe, Michigan. That's nah, close enough to Monroe, Michigan. I don't know. Whatever. We got fuel. Let's see. Next stop. How far is it to our destination? Gonna show us here in a second. Uh, maybe two seconds. Well, maybe three seconds. Four? Okay, five. Six. Okay, come on. Eight. Ten? Oh, there we go. Alright, we got. What the hell? There we go, that's better. 1,109 kilometers or 12 hours, 8 minutes. I don't know about that, but that's fine. 12 hours. Yep. We got all day tomorrow. And we've got half of Monday. All right, just so everyone can see, I got uh, 27 hours and 40 minutes left. So technically, we can go down to Alabama and back again. So depending on, you know, how we screw around down there, I don't know. Depends on how that goes. Okay, so we got to go finish off our post trip here, and then uh, we're jumping in the back for dinner. Alrighty, boys and girls. That's it. That's all for the day. Okay, secret work time. Yes, sir, Bob. I know I waited to the end of the video. I just wanted to make sure you guys watched the entire video. Yeah, that's it. Okay, secret word would be for today is international, as in international trucks, but it's just international. Alrighty, we'll talk to you tomorrow.